What's this over here? Hold on. There's something bobbing up and down in the water. Is that like a sea urchin or something? Hey there, little buddy. Oh, no. That's a mine. That's a mine. That's a mine. No, 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 no. Oh. What's up, guys? Mr. Viola here, and how the bloody hell is everybody doing today? I'm freaking excited. Why am I excited, you might ask? Because I've got my hands on this beautiful looking game. This is The Last Leviathan. The game actually comes out to the public tomorrow, but I managed to get my hands on a copy a day early. And for those of you who are wondering what this is, it's sort of like a besiege or scrap mechanic across Zelda the Wind Waker or... Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It's a basically a pirate ship building game. You build boats and pirate ships. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I mean, who's never wanted to live the pirate life? So beneath me, just just right down there, we've got a bunch of different game types we can play. Let's go through them. We got Voyage, which is uh, basically kind of like a survival mode where you just cruise around living the pirate life. Building your ship, collecting treasure and stuff. I don't actually know if that's what it is. We then got creative mode, which is like uh, just like a sandbox. You build up your pirate ship, and uh, and that's sort of what we're going to be having to play with today. I think. Where have we got battle seas. Battle seas is like multiplayer game types, like survival mode and last man standing and stuff. And and then last but not least, we got versus mode, where you just like grab a friend. You're like, hey dude, you want to go have a pirate battle off? You want to go shoot some cannons at each other and stuff? And then you're like, yeah boy, let's do it. And you fight across on the oceans and fight each other's ships and stuff. So if you guys are excited for this video. I really hope you guys are because I definitely would like to upload more videos of this game Make sure to go ahead and punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups Let's get into this video. So we're gonna be playing creative mode today We're gonna be building our own pirate ship hopefully and we're gonna see how that goes I've had an easy bean time a little bit of a play with it already and um, I kind of failed quite hard at building a ship The thing sunk straight away, but <laughs> I hope things go a little bit better today so let's get into this. This is kind of like our little starting block here. Oh, okay. I didn't want to place a block, but we have already. There we go. So let's go build a little bit of a decking around this. I think that's where it went wrong with my little creation last time. I didn't actually build a decking to it. I uh, just built like a hull. And I think the decking's what's got to keep it afloat on top of the water. I think that's where I went wrong. I actually don't know which is supposed to be the top. Huh. Check this out. Which one do you think is supposed to be... I got a feeling we're building upside down. Oh, well, never mind. Whatever. So let's continue with this decking a little bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, I reckon that's about it. Let's go one wide on either side, and I reckon, I reckon that is going to be a nice little shape we got going there. So let's go and build out our little hole now. So I want to go with these sorts of blocks. I reckon this block here looks really, really cool. Um, so let's not do that. I reckon we're going to go too wide, possibly. Yeah, we'll go too wide. And then we might be able to go one across the top or something like that. Okay, so, um, not really what I had in mind. Something like that, maybe. We can try this anyway. We can try. Bit of trial and never, never hurt nobody. Fantastic, fantastic. Bit of that action right there. Um, and then maybe, a no, that looks so bad. <laughs> that looks terrible. That looks absolutely a terrible. Unless we go something like this instead. Oh, ho ho. Oh, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. Okay, okay. Let's get some of this little triangular box now. Like this. Bit of this sort of action right here. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're definitely getting somewhere. Now we need, we need another one of these in the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Not bad. I can deal with that. That's a nice little front to the ship, I think. So, I guess eventually we're going to be going something like, like this across the top of it. Yeah. I wonder if we should go something like that along the edges so that our, like, I don't know, our pirates don't fall out of the ship. Because we don't want them falling out. We definitely don't want them falling out. Yeah, we don't have to deal with that right now, though. Let's go underneath. Let's get this hull all sort of sealed up and ready to go. We should probably bring this down a little bit further, in fact. Yeah, we should probably do that. Do you reckon that's far enough? That's enough room. That's enough room, I think. Yeah, I'm digging this, yo. I'm digging this. Let's go underneath the ship now. So I went it through like a little back on the ship just to sort of tie it all up. And I reckon it looks really, really cool. Let's go underneath. Actually, one piece that I reckon might just, you know, top it all off up here is something like that. Yeah, that looks awesome. All right, let's go underneath. So what are we going to be doing down here? We're going to have to somehow triangulate this whole bottom of the ship a little bit. So we're going to run some triangles. Some little slithered triangles, if I can place them in the correct direction, the correct orientation. All the way across this back section, 
There we go. And we're going to have to go across the little back area back here as well. And I think we've actually got... And this is the part that a lot of games often miss. A little corner blocks. Oh, that is so good. I love it. I love it. Little corner blocks. Although they look kind of weird. I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't know why they do that. But they do. All right, we're sort of starting to get a little bit of a shape down here. What I've actually done, I've gone and laid out an extra bunch of those blocks. And uh, I'm sort of going to leave it like that. So it's not going to be like a perfect triangle underneath. I'm no engineer, but I don't think a boat can balance on a perfect triangle like that. That's going to be the back of the ship right there. There's something about it that ain't 100%. I reckon I'm going to break these down. Something like that. Just because. I don't know why. Oh. Oh, yeah. Like that. Yeah. I'm a freaking pirate building master right here. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Digging it, digging it. Yeah, I can dig that, yo. I can dig that. That looks awesome. Okay, okay. So, we're going to need a little triangle on the front of it now, I think. Um, should we do some of these? Should we do some of these? Thing is, there's no block that kind of fits in between that. We've got corner blocks. We've got half blocks. We've got full blocks. We don't have three corner blocks, though. I'm getting really fussy now, aren't I? And one last triangle at the bottom here. Oh, oh, we need, we need one little block there. And then we need our triangle path. Okay, there we go. So, I think we're getting a nice little shape at the bottom of the ship now. Yeah, I can dig that. Yo, I can dig that. Now we're going to work out what to do at the bottom here, right? We're going to work out what to do at the bottom. We've got these things here called a, a, a keel. I don't really know what a keel is, but it looks something like that. And I've got a feeling you've got to run them on the bottom of your ship. At least that makes a little bit of sense to me. I don't know if that's what they're actually used for or not, but... I'm going to go and fill in this little back section. So now it's all closed. It's all good. And we're going to go and throw this little kill thing at the front here. I've got a feeling that's what it's for. It's kind of like a bit of a shark fin. And I'm going to run these all the way across the top. The bottom. Whatever. And then on the back, we're going to place this last piece. So it's going to be something like that. I don't know if you actually need that. I don't know what it's for, but it looks cool. And I think that's what you do with it. Okay, we're back onto the top. So, we gotta work out what to do up here. We gotta work out what to do. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we're just gonna go with something standard like this. Oh, <gasps> I just realized something. Oh my god, we do have those little three quarter pieces. Oh, that, that changes everything, I think, if it lets me place it where I want it to. Oh, we got three quarter pieces! Oh, no game gives you three quarter pieces to play with. That's some game changing shit right there. If only it let me place it in the correct orientation. That's the one. Ha oh, ha! Oh, I'm excited now! Oh, it lets you do it! Check that out! No sticking out crappy blocks anymore. It's all flush and stuff. Oh my god! You guys don't understand! I love this sort of like. The blocks all slot in. Look, like it's all fl Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Like, this one here, I can replace this, maybe, with a three-quarter piece. Yep. Hell yeah, I can. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Check it out, yo. Check it out. We actually don't need... Oh, no, we do need those. Yo, this is like the greatest ship ever. I don't care what anyone's... It's actually pretty weird looking, but it's gonna work, yo. It's gonna work. We've got our rough, very, very rough ship thing down. Pat, I reckon it looks pretty, pretty cool. So, do we have any other blocks that we can play with? We've got armor and stuff, but, uh, oh, we got some lights we can put on our ship. What do they look like? Oh, damn. They're like freaking torches and stuff. Um, I guess we can throw some torches on the back here. Keep it all lit up, because you're going to need that. We got We need a scope. We need some telescopes. Of course we do. On the sides as well. Like that. We're going to need uh, a figurehead. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, scrap that telescope. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. What else have we got? Decorations. What are decorations for? I don't really know why we'd need that stuff. But whatever. Let's go on to movement. We've got the, the we've got the shape down. The shape's looking all cool. I reckon this thing will float. I hope it will anyway. Let's go and throw some stuff. So we're gonna need rudders. This thing's gonna need a large rudder on it. Is that a large rudder? That's a large rudder. Um I guess that'll sit down there. Should we put two on? I don't know. We'll put one for now. We'll see how that goes. We're gonna need some large propellers. Is that really a large propeller? How wow, okay, small ones are tiny. Okay, big ones like that. 
and a third one in the middle. Why not? And then we're going to need some sails. Okay, what happened there? There we go. Oh, that looks so good. And I think we're going to need another one at the front of the ship as well. There we go. This thing is going to be amazing. This thing is going to be crazy good. So let's go and st like, stock this thing up with some weapons, yo. Let's go throw some weapons on this thing. Still, oh my god. Attention, your ship has now passed into Wild Ships class zone. If you do not have an awesome PC rig, consider going back. Your experience may be degraded. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we'll hold off on weapons for now. Let's set sail. I want to test this thing out. This is the other little ship that I made. This is the true Miolar. <laughs> Ignore the other one. Set sail. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Our ship just fell apart. Our ship is falling apart. What the hell, bro? That wasn't part of the deal. What? Why is my ship falling apart? We're full of water. We're filling with water. What the hell? We're sinking. It turns out I'm not the shipbuilder I thought I was. We're moving though. We're moving. We're moving. It's not over yet. I want to go to an island. Can we turn? Hey, it turns. Oh, no, we're sinking. We are so going underwater. I think our ship's using a lot of parts. And because of that, our, uh, our experience, our lag is increasing. <laughs> Dude, if this ship doesn't look amazing, I don't know what does. It's a shame there's no weapons on it. But still, it's a shame we've got a freaking hole in the bottom of it too. Oh my god, we're filling. We are literally filling with water. We're filling up. We're filling up. Why did we fall apart? What's this over here? Hold on. There's something bobbing up and down in the water. Is that like a sea urchin or something? Hey there, little buddy. Oh, no. That's a mine. That's a mine. That's a mine. No, 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 no. Holy shit. Some warning would have been freaking lovely. Some warning would have been amazing. How are we still moving? Oh, God. Let me just beach myself on this stupid mountain. Oh, boy. Well, yeah, that didn't quite go according to plan. So the beauty about this game is you can actually jump onto the workshop and download other people's creations, okay? So these are two creations I checked out. This one here is actually built by a friend of mine. I want to check this one here out, Death From Above. It's made by someone called Kimmy Kicks. And that's it right there. It actually looks really, really cool. Let's set sail. We probably shouldn't have set sail there. There we go. We've got it in the water without it crashing and burning. Let's get out. Oh, we're losing parts. We're losing parts. Oh boy. We've lost a rudder and stuff and things. How do we actually fire weapons? Oh, damn. You can actually like... Oh, wow. What happened? <laughs> oh, wow. What happened? There we go. There we go. So... Apparently, we've got different buttons we can press. So, like, if you've got a telescope, you can actually look through the telescope. If you've got a flamethrower, I think you press five. We don't have a tele we don't have a flamethrower though. Oh, cannons! Oh, whoa, whoa! Look at this! Oh my god! I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with that. Seriously! Holy crap! That's insane! Oh, I want to find a ship to burst. I can't wait to do some pirate ship battles, yo. Pirate ship battles would be freaking awesome. And to wrap it up, I think there's only one thing left for us to do. And that's, of course, charge straight into one of these sea mines. Come here, little sea mine. I've got something for you, buddy. Uh, I'm sorry, ship. Oh, damn. We knocked off like a whole little chunk of that ship. How's this thing floating, but mine just falls apart when it hits the water? Bit offended about that. Bit upset. Well, guys, I reckon this is a great time to wrap up this little first impressions preview of uh, The Last Leviathan. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. Guys, I'll see you in another video tomorrow. Bye for now.